I know what you're thinking, but before you say anything, get this. This is exactly what you're supposed to do at the new Whole Foods. Because in this store, the cameras and sensors are tracking your every move. So that you can just walk out without any cashier. You feel like you're stealing. So is this the future of how we will shop? And is my total receipt going to actually be correct at the end? Today I am in Sherman Oaks, California, where they've opened the first Whole Foods. Where you can do the entire experience without having to deal with a cashier, without having to wait in line without having to talk to anyone. Here's how it works. To enter the store, you scan in with your Amazon account. Then you pick up whatever items you want and the store uses a combination of cameras, weight sensors, and location tracking. So you just walk out at the end and they literally email you your receipt after you've left. To scan out and as I scan out, there's a turnstile and I'm good to go. And Amazon makes a major move. Remember five years ago when Amazon dropped $13 billion to buy Whole Foods? Well, now it's connecting our data as a Amazon shopper with our experience at Whole Foods. This technology is called Just Walk Out. Amazon has launched convenience stores, its own grocery stores, and they're even rolling out this technology with Starbucks. Because I'm not gonna go to a register at the end, I can actually just start putting it in my bag. So here at this Whole Foods, you can add the items directly into your your shopping bag while you shop. I'm not gonna be taking it out at the end, so why not? Because shopping bags are 10 cents. So I'm super curious to see if the technology will actually pick up on the fact that I got a shopping bag. I guess we'll find out at the end. Heck, you can even put the items in your pocket as you shop. Putting items directly in my pocket feels so bizarre. I literally feel like my subconscious brain is yelling at me right now. My fight or flight was just activated. That was so bizarre. I have to consciously breathe. Every shelf here has a scale under it. So every time I pick something up, the scale feels a little bit lighter. And using location tracking, the store matches up my phone to the item that was removed from that shelf. Everything here is so organized and clean because there are literally weight sensors under the produce. So every time I pick up an orange, it knows that I'm the one that picked up an orange. Because of this, the weight of every item must be extremely precise, which presents a massive issue when it comes to fruits and vegetables. Because, well, nature doesn't grow melons that are the exact same weight. But one of the staff tells me that if some of the fruit is overweight, they will throw it out or donate it. This is crazy because parsley is so light and there's so much parsley, so is it really going to know, based on weight sensors and cameras, that I grab a bunch of parsley? So hold up, this technology is supposed to make everyone's life easier, but now workers have to weigh every single fruit and then throw something away if it weighs too much? Yeah, maybe this technology still has some improvements to be made. But I will say that overall, it's an impressive experience. Another employee tells me that the refrigerated items are actually not done by weight, but rather they're monitored through tiny little cameras. It takes me a minute to be able to find the cameras, but alas, I finally do. They're literally in the price tag. Overall, this entire experience really impresses me. Even hot food can be linked up to my location because I'm holding my phone. So I thought for sure there would be something very different because I'm not picking it up, it's not by weight. But let's see how this works. Because even things like ordering a fresh slice of pizza is able to correlate to my account. Just by her handing me this, just because I'm standing right here, it knows, the technology knows that I'm the one taking this pizza just the same way I would lifting a product from a shelf. Okay, but what about the hot food section, which is famous at Whole Foods? That's usually charged by weight. But at this new location, you will pay a flat fee instead of paying based on how much food you take. A small box will cost you $11, a large box will cost you $16. So no matter what you put inside, whether it's lettuce or salmon, it will still be the same price. I try to stuff my box with the priciest items I can find, like deviled eggs and stuffed grape leaves. I actually love to start like my drink before I actually go to the cashier, but right now it shouldn't really matter because I've already picked it up. I'm still gonna walk out with this bottle. It shouldn't matter based on weight. Even though in a normal grocery store, if you do self-checkout, it won't let you weigh this because it won't match if you started drinking the drink, but I'm just gonna drink it. I don't think that should matter. Okay, so now it's time to leave. I've filled up my bag and it's time to walk out. So I just had to scan out, and as I scan out, there's a turnstile, and I'm good to go. As you walk out, you have to scan your QR code once again to exit, and that way it will affirm that your items are correlated to your account. And just like that, you just walk out.
No cashier. That's the weirdest feeling ever. You feel like you're stealing. <laughs> Overall, the ending is super weird because I've never just walked out of a store like that. So if this tech is going to be here to stay, this will definitely take some getting used to. How do you know if it was an accurate charge? So it's going to take one to two hours for all the data to calculate, and then I'm going to get an email or I'll see a receipt in the app. But I'm really curious if this is going to be accurate because I've used this technology at the Starbucks in New York, same technology made by Amazon, and it it severely undercharged me by $26. Go check out that video. In fact, I felt so bad I went back the next day to see what I should do. Check that out to see what happens. An hour after I leave the store, I get an email receipt and I'm impressed to say that the receipt is exactly correct. The store even noticed that I picked up a 10 cent shopping bag. Not everybody actually uses the technology. There were a number of people I watched that didn't wanna have to get out their phone, didn't wanna have to use a barcode, um, and they just wanted to do it the old fashioned way, which is really funny to me. One woman in particular had a ton of groceries. Her cart was absolutely filled and you could tell the cashier was like, uh, why didn't you just scan in with your app? Because then you didn't have to take out any of this. You could have just gone straight to your car. And it took like 10 minutes for her to actually take out all her stuff from the cart, put it on the cash register and charge it. And I think it's gonna take some getting used to. I think it's gonna take a lot of getting used to. A lot of people, especially in the US, are paranoid about privacy and security, and they don't want Amazon or any company to have any more data than they already do. But to me, it's a no-brainer. Of course you should use the app. It's the future, and it was such an easy way to shop. It's definitely unnerving. I felt like I'm stealing so many times, especially when I put items directly in my pocket. And also it's interesting because you think that a cashierless store is not gonna have a lot of staff and a lot of people working there but actually it was the opposite. There were more people working there than you would see in a typical grocery store. They were doing inventory, they were refilling and restocking the shelves. It's also a brand new store, so I imagine Amazon Corporate has its eye on this store and is regularly checking data, seeing how it's working, seeing what's not working. So there are a lot of eyes on this store, but it's kind of the opposite of what I expected. But remember guys, this isn't just a store. This isn't your local neighborhood store. This is also now serving as a fulfillment center. So if you were to order stuff online this is where it comes from you have people that are going to fulfill your online orders as well so now you have a distribution center in the middle of your neighborhood but it also serves as a grocery store for customers to go and visit I was kind of shocked when the guy told me that if fruits and vegetables aren't the same weight they throw them out and then he was quick to change his he, he, he said that they throw them out and then he's like or donate them but like imagine that this is supposed to make everyone's life easier imagine finding an apple or a, a watermelon that weighs too much and not being able to sell it because it's not gonna take the, it's not gonna work with the technology. Like this is so bizarre to me. Unless it's like a packaged good, packaged goods are really easy to work with this technology. But when it comes to fruits, vegetables, things like that, it's much more of a pain for them to figure out this technology. Usually in the hot food section, Whole Foods charges you by weight, which is great. Sometimes you're hungry, sometimes you're not that hungry, but now you have to fill up your box because it's $11 for a box. And it's so crazy to me that they're doing this because you could fill up a box with bread, which is very cheap, or you could fill up a box with salmon, which is very expensive. So I think they, they, they crunch the numbers and they realize the best way for them to try and not lose money off this is to charge you $11 per box. That's a lot, that's a lot for a small box. I tried to get the most expensive things I could think of, which were like deviled eggs and stuffed grape leaves, um, but I still feel like I paid way too much for a small little box. Um, unless it's salmon or something, I don't see why this makes any sense for a customer to do uh, a flat fee based off of a box. Um, I think they're gonna have trouble with that. I think they're gonna have to somehow get their hot food and salad bar options back to paying by weight. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you do walkout technology? Would you scan your app and just put stuff in your pockets? And do you think this is the future of the grocery store? No more cashiers? While you're at it, check out more of my videos, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon.